And you may have seen some of our staff today posting pictures on social media about Safe Place Selfie Day. Uh, those photos are meant to share an important message about uh, knowing how to prepare when severe weather hits. Now we're on your side tonight. WATE reporter Kristen Galan brought us into her own home speaking with first responders about finding your safe place and what you may need to have on hand during an emergency. safe places in my house? Well, some of the dangers, obviously, you've got a sliding glass door on the back. You've got the storm door and the front door with which we entered. So you want to stay away from those glass doors and windows uh, in the event of a severe storm. So you want to find the interior room. This is a two-story uh, condo. So we don't obviously want to go up on the upper floor. So we want to find the most interior room. And that, from what I can see, would be this half bath right here. What are some of the items that you definitely want to take with you into your safe place? Yeah, so you want to take, I would take a flashlight. If the power goes out, you may need to see to get out. Take your cell phone and maybe a battery pack that you can charge it if the battery, if the power goes out in your house. Uh, you want to be able to have your phone so you can watch the weather app, so you can kind of track where the storms are. Uh, it may take some blankets. Uh, or pillows. In the event that there is a collapse, you can have something that gives you a little bit of padding. So if something like that happens as a first responder, what mm -hmm. are your all's responsibilities? Well, obviously the first thing we're going to make sure is, is, that, is that the structure is stable. Uh, if it's partially collapsed, if you have uh, some kind of structural damage, we're going to make sure that structural before we ever try to remove you. Because ideally, you may be in the most stable part of the house if you've gone to that interior room. So we literally have to peel away the damage to get to you. And that takes time. So again, we talk about having water, we talk about having a snack. Those kind of things may take time uh, and get kind of a structural collapse type incident. All right, well, thank you so much for all of these great tips. I will definitely be keeping this in the back of my mind for when severe weather hits. For now, reporting in Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE6 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you. Definitely some good advice there. Jeff Bagwell mentioned that you'll want to have important documents and photos of your home with you for insurance purposes. He also adds that if you live in a mobile home or in a building that does not have a safe place, you should leave that building and find a more sound structure.